air. Invisible, pure. It journeys through vast distances, past forests and plains, across the country. And when it finally reaches its destination, I think as a society, we fully understood the impact of sealing up a building and living our lives inside. Before this pandemic, not a lot of people were thinking about how air traveled through facilities. Now it's almost commonplace. You hear it on the local news. You see it on social media. People are now thinking about how virus is spreading. If you have any degree of aerosolization and you are in an indoor space where the air is being circulated, that is a much greater risk than if you are outside. The virus alone is a very small particle and it actually needs a carrier to transport it through air. Humans produce these larger particles by breathing and sneezing and coughing. The particles that are actually heavy enough to fall out of air are called droplets. And that's what most masks are supposed to protect you from. On the other hand, particles that are light enough to be suspended in air, aerosols, are guided and directed by air currents in the space. Particulate sizes tend to shrink when they're dehydrated and more easily pass through a filter. So the ideal humidity level to capture that virus or particulate is between 40 to 50 percent. So controlling the humidity in the space is absolutely critical, but some small aerosols will go directly through filters. What do you really do about them? Higher levels of filtration is good, but it's no replacement for higher levels of outdoor air. If you can dilute the indoor air enough to make the aerosols less prevalent, the indoor air becomes healthier. The recent recommendations are opening up windows, opening up outdoor air as much as possible. But if it's very cold outside or very hot and humid outside, are, are people really gonna open their windows? The very best solution for introducing air into buildings is DOAS, and DOAS is dedicated outdoor air systems. They are specifically designed to take the outdoor air, fully filter it, temper it, condition it, and deliver it to the space effectively. So we're actually diluting the virus content inside of that building. This is in contrast to traditional HVAC units that just recirculate that air inside of that space over and over and over again. And looking at a side-by-side -side comparison of a building with DOAS versus recirculated, you can see how quickly the DOAS unit will flush the uh, space out and replace it with clean, fresh air. A lot of solutions come from just talking, uh, not scheduled meetings or scheduled interactions online. It comes from just casual conversation, and that's the big part of what we're missing right now. We need to give people a peace of mind and the comfort levels to return to building spaces. You know how it smells better after it rains sometimes? Fresh air always smells better. It, it just feels better. And the only way you get those experiences indoors is still by bringing fresh air inside. How do we make buildings safer? You just look at your surroundings, clean air and water and, and the sun. Maybe we could look to mother nature for the answer here.